Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before beginning this procedure, be sure to remove the snowblower start key from the engine. To replace the ground drive belt, your first step is to detach the deflector cable from the chute. Next, remove the screws securing the belt cover and pull the cover off. Now use a half inch socket to remove the bolts and washers securing the belt guide. and pull the guide off. Remove the bolts and washers securing the blower housing to the frame. Pivot the frame away from the blower housing, detach, and rest the rear portion of the snowblower on its handlebars. Disconnect the idler spring. Remove the cotter pin, as well as the bolts securing the swing plate assembly. Remove the old ground drive belt from the drive shaft, if still intact. Set the speed control lever to full throttle to release the old belt, if applicable. Install the new ground drive belt by first looping it onto the drive shaft. Now align the belt on the pulley. Reposition the swing plate assembly. Secure the cotter pin. Reposition the swing plate spacer. And secure the bolts. Reattach the idler spring and realign the auger drive belts on the pulley, if necessary. Rejoin the two halves of the snowblower together. Make sure the chute crank rod inserts into the hole in the control panel. Reroute the auger drive belts onto the drive shaft. Secure the blower housing to the frame with the bolts and washers. Reinstall the belt guide and secure it with the bolts and washers. Replace the belt cover. And secure the screws. Route the deflector cable into the guide and reconnect the T-connection. With the new drive belt installed, you can now return the start key to the snowblower's engine.